Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Pathfinder Kingmaker in Last Islandi. So the goal for this episode is to explore the Tenebrous Ruins or the Tenebrous Depths. See how far we can go as long as I feel safe exploring the dungeon and just, you know, trying to get some experience, try to get some cool items maybe along the way and just see if we can find the first boss. Before we begin, I just want to mention something that was brought up in a comment uh, in one of my previous videos. And this might be useful for someone else. It's not really for me, unfortunately. But if you have the Bag of Tricks uh, mod, and like I said, I have this here, but I've never really used it, so I don't know what it does. But it was mentioned that under the party options, you have this cool little option here, which is show all party portraits. And what this does is it displays all active party members' portraits, including pets, which is really cool. So if you are used to playing in Wrath of the Righteous, you know that if you have someone that has a pet, you will have a little button down here showing the pet HP and you can click it and it will show the pet portrait beside him. And it's very, very useful to check out the buffs, check out the HP and whatnot. It's a cool thing to have. If you turn this option on here, show all party portraits from Bag of Tricks, you can get a similar effect. The pets will also show beside their respective owners you can see the buffs and the HP and everything like that, but there is no button to hide them once again. And given that I don't have the button option, this means I would have to keep on scrolling, so I don't really like it that much. I'm gonna not use it right now. But just know that that option exists if you enjoy having the pet's portraits. So, with that said, let's get going into our Tenebrous Depths exploration. Starting off at level 1, I think this is kind of like a, a poison or disease level. So we are going to buff up as much as possible here, of course. And we're going to try and make use of our buffs as much as we can and also making use of haste as we go. Uh, so you are going to take out your armor. We're going to do our usual buffing routine. Make sure everybody is nice and buffed. And as soon as I find our first enemies, I'm gonna buff with medium duration buffs. Which I think is here. Yeah, we're rats. I don't think these guys are gonna be too much of a problem. Um, if we see here, they're level 2. Uh, they are not worth much experience either. <laughs> they have low HP, they don't have that much AC. I guess the main problem here is that they have 10 damage reduction. So this makes these actual 23 hit points seem like a lot higher sometimes. And they are diseased creatures. So they are immune to disease and they can inflict various diseases on the enemies on, on the targets of their attacks. So basically if they hit your characters they can apply diseases. So we want our AC as high as possible and we want to kill them as quickly as possible as well. Other than that there's nothing really uh, else to say about this. Medium duration buffs, let's go. And we're gonna start charging in and bursting people up. Jubilost is buffing. I think we are done. Let's drink our potions. And let's get an extended haste. And let's see how much we can kill in 1 minute 30. <laughs> Sing and charge. I do have to be careful with these charges because I think a lot of these rooms may be trapped. And I get overconfident in charging through. And if a trap shows up, well, then I'll just get sad. Also, I think there are red swarms around here. But for that, we have Jubilos to deal with them. Yeah. And I think for the most part, these swarms are not that problematic. They halve physical damage from slashing and piercing weapons, but they don't have a lot of hit points, so... Even if they cut them in half, 
they still all die very quickly. I don't like the diseases though. <laughs> so I will still try to avoid this if possible. Uh, you can start shooting one, sure. And I'm gonna take off the AI from Jubilost because I want to just make sure I have my bombs ready when I want them. Uh, but yeah, you, you and you can shoot. Everybody here falls back. Okay, with the exception of maybe Rigongar. I may have a plan for Rigongar here. Yeah, but you see here that even just shooting them is killing them very easily. Uh, okay, let's just see how this goes. Okay, I might not even need to worry too much about this. Just do that. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Easier than I was expecting. Wait, why did the game pause? It looked like it had found an additional enemy. So, in order to save times on my buffs, what I typically do is, I ignore looting enemies, and I just focus on looting chests, because at the end of the level, when you move down, uh, you get to collect all options, so there's no really no point in wasting time um, looting fallen enemies. You can thank me now. Okay, we have an alpha wolf. Don't you have your armor, right? Yeah, you do. Where to? You're using it wrong. You can't charge. It's fine. Fine. A clever ploy. Stand with me. Werewolves and alpha wolves. Maybe you go and. Uh, occupy that guy. We are doing very well here. This shouldn't be a problem at all. At least these first levels, or this first level shouldn't be a problem. Future ones will definitely... Aha! You bitch, I knew it. Okay, so... We are going to fall back and just have Ikundayo pull. Let me just do something here as well. Okay. Because if I, if I still have this on, he needs to move up to 30 feet to shoot, but without it, he can shoot from farther away. Okay, so pew pew. Turn this back on. Everybody fall back. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. The positioning sucked. I think Ikundayo is gonna take some hits here. Yeah, for sure he will. Yeah. He even fell down. <laughs> no! Why? Ah. Well, I shouldn't have pulled with him, to be quite honest. I don't know why I did. And I'm paying the price. I am paying the price. Do I have a way to heal this? I think I do. Uh... I can never remember... Ah, remove disease. This is what I want. Okay, so let's take this over here. I stand ready. Do that. You. Difficulty 20, we failed it. Okay, what else do I have? Do I even have something else? Do not. Be on guard. Okay. I will try to salvage this. If not, it's just gonna go like this. Um, okay. Da, da, da. Restoration lesser. I think this is temporary or is it permanent? 
I'm not very accustomed to dealing with disease. It says it's permanent. I don't think it is, though. Uh, not that one. This one. Yeah, okay. It's it's not permanent. Oh, it, it also removes the disease. Oh, okay, that, then it's much more manageable. But yeah, th this is the risk of having one of your backline characters near the front. You just saw, it doesn't take much. He got hit once, he got dropped and was basically at half HP with negative effects. Okay, our haste has worn off. It's fine. Let's keep on going. Oh, this is a buff. Which I guess I will take. Uh, before that, let me just I will not buff properly. Okay, I will do what you guys tell me to do in the comments, which is using guidance. But the reason why this isn't necessary, and I didn't even remember what the, what the bonus was, this is a competence bonus. Right? You can see right here at, at the, the end. It's a competence bonus. Here. And this is also a competence bonus. So there's no... It doesn't stack. I am your shield. Right? Okay. Let me see if I'm wrong about this. I don't think I am. Okay. Buff yourself with that. Last one minute. Okay. Now get Blessing of the Faithful and you sing. Succeeded. Okay, we had 24 modifiers, but I don't really know what they are. But yeah, I don't believe those bonuses stack, so... Don't need to worry too much about that. And I have more than enough anyway to take care of it. Without having to resort to buffing, I mean. So what stuff did you get, by the way? We got Sacred Protection. Grants a Sacred Bonus to Armor Class. Oh. Huh. How much? Two. Very decent, actually. Lasts for 30 minutes. If I could keep this going for a while, I can make use of it for the, the later levels. Okay. I will not charge with the rest of my people, because if there's a trap, let's just have the Leopard take it, not the rest of them. Open to your orders. Do not hold We will prevail. Okay, that's the problem right there. These should be mostly okay. Okay. I think he's an alchemist. Okay, trap. More yeah, he also has displacement. Hmm. Let's start shooting him. Yeah, he's he's tossing bombs, which we don't appreciate. Okay, wait. In one second, we're gonna have bombs getting lobbed. This hits everybody. So protection from uh, resist fire, I mean. So we are now safer from it. Don't step on the trap. Just please go around. Thank you. Zero damage from the bombs. Good. Concealment being annoying. But overall it's fine. Down he goes. Take care of this. I think for the most part, this is the first level done. Why am I looting this? I don't know. There is a chest here. Good. The chests are where the, the good stuff usually is. And I will read that book in a second. Because, like I said, this is going to be new for me. I've never really read anything from this DLC. Greater Werewolf and the Ferocious Wolf. I'm thinking Leopard goes there. Actually, cancel that. Give Sing. 
And now Leopard goes there. Wolfie goes there. And let's see if there's any traps. We seem to just have a couple of wolves. Nothing special here. Oh. And done. Sometimes I give it another run to make sure I didn't miss any kind of uh, hidden rooms and stuff like that. Like, this actually looks like a hidden room here. Uh, but since we have this cool Sacred AC buff, I'm going to try and keep going as long as I can manage my buffs before I come back. So let's go down to level 2. Uh, we can take all of this. I'm just going to inspect uh, <coughs> the items we picked up here. Vast Intelligence, Bombardier's Vest, and I will read the book. So, Interview with the Weary Traveler. This ragged issue of the popular magazine Absalom Reporter features a gnome on the cover, colorfully dressed and smiling. The artist drew him in a haughty pose. His foot rests on the skull of a great reptile, and he proudly holds aloft a gem the size of its own head. In bold letters, the caption reads, An exclusive interview with famous treasure hunter Baron de Ball Zesselwand. Sir Zesselwand. <laughs> Why the formality? Please, just call me Ball. All right, Ball. You've recently returned from a long voyage to Garund. Well, not all of Garund. I mostly spent my time in Osirion and Katapesh, making short trips to Geb, Nex and Jalmaray. What was the aim of your expedition? That's a fine question. As Desne is my witness, I've asked myself many times, what the devil made me go there? Especially each time I miraculously managed to extricate myself from yet another predicament. But you know what? The answer to the question is quite relevant. Yes, that's right. Let's say that initially I only intended to confirm a certain hypothesis regarding the architecture of pyramids. But before I even reached them, I was lucky to awaken a sphinx who had been sleeping in the sand for centuries, and escape with my skin intact. I discussed philosophy with an oracle of Wajet, witnessed the rise of the triple sun, tasted nine new dishes, four drinks and two new kinds of tobacco. The pyramid hypothesis turned out to be utter nonsense in the end, and, and don't try tobacco. Uh, but at the end I learned of this, and I was already busily investigating the atrocities of a secret cult that was attempting to resurrect the remains of some ancient monsters in the middle of Sotis. As you see, the nominal aim of the voyage scarcely matters at all. Forgive the blunt question, but rumor has it that despite your life of adventure, even you couldn't avoid the eternal bane of gnomes, the bleaching. What nonsense! <laughs> bleaching? Me? That's nothing more than the wishful thinking of some of those determined to be my adversaries. The southern sun bleached my hair, and as soon as I caught sight of this, the rumors started flying. Make no mistake, if anything kills me it will be another adventure, and decidedly not a loss of the will to live. That's good to, to hear. So what are your plans for the future? I will go north to the river kingdoms. I've been having very strange dreams lately. I won't share all details yet to maintain the intrigue. But if even a part of them is true, then when I return, you'll be printing a tale of incredible adventure. Thank you for the interview and good luck in your coming journey. Thank you as well. Okay, so nothing very interesting, honestly. <laughs> it's very generic, but sure. This level, I believe, is an acid damage level. If I find myself taking a lot of damage from acid, I will just use protection from acid. And let's look at our enemies here. The first thing to note about these enemies, even though it might not seem obvious here, where tigers are much like those frog enemies we've seen before, they love to charge your backline. And again, if one of these reaches your backline and starts wailing on them, it's, it's a very quick death. So you want to make sure that you are well protected or Try to just intercept them and not be in range or something like that, because it can be very dangerous. Other than that, they have bewildering injury by, by, for being a rogue, but this is the trait from this level, Acidic Creature. They have an increased resistance to, uh, against acid damage and spells with acid descriptor, deal additional acid damage with their weapons, and can inflict sickened or nauseated conditions on the targets of their attacks. So they are very, very um, obnoxious. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change our cantrip here. 
to Ray of Frost. We don't want to deal damage, uh, acid damage to acid resistant creatures. Um, and with that done, we have our buffs. Yes. Let's continue making good use of them. Together we are so us. we are going to cast an extended haste. This one lasts for 1 minute 20. Does anyone require and I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm forgetting something here. Ah, just singing. Okay, so you charge in, you charge in, everybody that's melee charges in. And also let's try to engage with all of the enemies in sight. I think there's more over there. But just try to engage as much as possible to try and intercept their charges. And keep the backline safe. And we also have to make sure to keep in check what they are doing. If you see somebody starting to charge, get on it. Like this guy right here. He's charging my leopard, so that's okay. He's also charging my leopard, so it's okay, so we're fine. Backline is... Look at this, look at this bitch. Look at this bitch. Jesus, man, it's so... <laughs> I hate it. I hate. <laughs> I hate charging enemies. Okay, that guy went down. Okay. Hey man, ten damage reduction does a lot, which they have. Um, okay, so let's see doors. What we have? Only this door. So it's an easy way forward. Uh, I wonder if I can... I don't think I can deal with the trap without without starting a fight. So I believe I'm just going to bring everybody back and let my leopard pull them in. What's up, bitches? Come here. Yeah. You fight on my terms. Okay, the Great Wolf, okay. Nowhere Tigers. So I think we're safe. Come on. Okay, let's let's move the doggy because he's blocking the path for other people. Thank you. Ah, and something I should also do, but now. Yeah, okay, now my weapon is buffed. I was gonna say, something I should do is swap my Troll Reaper Axe for my Flaming Earthbreaker, because this does fire damage instead of uh, acid damage. And we're not dealing with trolls anymore, anyway. So this is just better. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna swap it right now, or put it here. 17, 17, same thing. Okay, good. I'm positive I found something. We have two doors here. Let's start with this one. Ferocious wolf, ferocious wolf. I am afraid of people here. I will protect. Hmm. Go there, go there, go there, and doggy, go there, and I want my backline to get over there. Or actually, they they ignored me. Okay, we're fine. There's nobody else here, so I think we're good. I think we're good. A dire venom wolf. Still, we haven't found any. Wear rats, so I'm not afraid of charging. That's a nice bite, Mr. Wolf. God damn. Oh, you guys are invisible. I see. Oh, what was that? Time worn as Lunty belt buckle from Tenebrous Depths. 
This item once belonged to Mercedes Man, a collector of many artifacts. An expert at antiquities may find it interesting. So something for the storyteller, I would imagine. We have yet another buff here. We're gonna take it. Who has the most Arcana? I'm thinking it's Jubilost. 11, 12... 10, 15. I stand ready. You require my assistance? So go there. Okay. Don't hesitate. So, any brilliant ideas? We got it. We got Mystic Assistance. This blessing grants you circumstance bonus to all saving throws. One. Eh, okay, it's decent. Nothing major, but it's always a plus. Uh, haste is gone. Where tigers? Okay. So let's leave my back line a little bit further back. I'm listening. Okay, you guys move in. I am your shield. Singy the Songy. I am yours to command. A reckoning is at hand. No. Let's see what they're made of. I think this guy is annoying. If I remember this right, I think this guy is very annoying. Uh, you guys stay back for now. I don't want you to get charged. Okay. And when they're all occupied here in the middle. We're gonna deal with that one. Should have probably sent somebody over to him, but. Oh. Yeah, this is why he shoots acidic spray. I remember there was a reason for me to hate this guy. Okay, he's charging, let's go in. Okay, go for him. This is a dangerous one. Try to bring him down if possible. Let's toss out some magic missiles as well. That is a lot of damage as we see. But he's dead. And essentially all this damage I think came from acid. Rigongar. Yeah, 25 damage from acidic spray right there. Yeah, yeah, my friends. You cannot take this lightly. Which I am kind of doing. I'm trying to save up on my buffs. So I didn't use protection from acid, but I really should. Although, to be honest, if I had remembered this guy was here, I, I would have. But I did not remember him. We have a new helmet. Dwarven Champion's Helmet. This helmet enchants its wearer's main weapon with Orc Bane and Goblin Bane special abilities. Its enhancement bonus to AC increases to plus 2 against the attacks of Orcs, Giants and Goblinoids. Quite cool. It's specific, so I don't really see myself using it that often. But it is a cool helmet. This was the end of this level, by the way. We see the way down over there. We are going to look for other doors, like this one. And you really want to explore every single nook and cranny from this dungeon. Because there's a lot of items you can otherwise miss. And items from this dungeon are very nice. This smells like a trap. It wasn't, okay. We got the Mug of the Weary Traveler. The name of its former owner, Bal Zess, is embossed on the handle of this old travel mug. It's dented, covered with mud, and some stinky gunk is dried to the bottom. But as soon as you touch it, your mind is overwhelmed with bright euphoric visions. The mug transforms into a golden cup, filled with fragrant wine. A gemstone inscription encircles the rim. Divine Emperor Barandaza... <laughs> Barandaval Zesselwand, the first and only. You hear crystalline laughter and merry song, and frankincense drifts upon the air of violence. 
Forms of giant flowers surround you and palaces of jewels and shining towers. This can only be the world of Fae. Figures of their peculiar faces rise in songs of praise for the divine overlord. Okay, so just something else from the Dwery Traveler. Where rats? If there's something to be afraid from where rats, it's the um, Give the order. The alchemists. But I already have protection from fire anyway. Doing it wrong. So I should be fine. Okay, so you go there, you go there. Mr. Doggy can go over there. Regongar go over here. And we shoot there. I'll just have to resort to force. Yeah, this is the alchemist. Okay, go for him. Before he gets displaced, man, come on. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, why am I doing this? Give me that. This is a dart plus three. So if you're somebody that wants to use darts, this is a good place to get a nice weapon. And I think there was another door. Here. And they do give decent experience, right? 540 experience for a were-rat. It's quite lovely. Hmm. Empty, really? There's blood over there. You can thank me now. Braces of Arm plus one. That sucks. And I think this is all that I had here. Do I still have... I no longer have enlarged person. My mirror images are off. Yeah, okay. So, this is where I would stop and go for the rest. Which I will do. But the, the easiest way to do it is to actually go to the lower level. Because we already have the door open. As there is a portal to go back to the surface. And we're going to check out our loot as well. Okay, so collect all that. And let's leave. Second level done. Ooh, I think this level is... Fire giant level. That means danger. Danger, danger. Okay, so in terms of items, let's see. Intelligence, plus two, Bombardier, and the Composite Shortbow, plus one. Nothing special. The most interesting part of that level was the Dart, plus three, and the Dwarven Champion's Helmet. Okay, so we want to rest. Uh, I think you could... No, actually you can't. You can't even rest here. So what you do is you just go back to the top. We have these portals here. And you essentially have a free rest at the table. So you don't even have to bother with... Um, camping supplies or hunting or anything like that. You can just click here and it's fine. I will swap my spell here on Cordon Pina. I don't think I need remove disease anymore. I will take animate dead here. And for this level we are going to be using our protections from fire. I might even take two of them, because this isn't really very important for right now. So take that. Uh, I think I'm fine like this. Yeah, okay. Let's... Uh, actually, wait. Do you have something else you want to bring? Not really, okay. We can go back to acid. Everybody is fully rested. We can even sell our junk. This is actually a very well done area because you have everything you need close by. There's not a lot of back and forth running around. Okay, sell all that. Uh, let me order by type here. I can sell one of these, one of these. 
Don't need any more of these. Take one. This can go. I don't have anybody using darts, so that's just a 4,600 buff right there. Uh, not buff. <laughs> Gold gain right there. And I think that's all we need. So 11,000 gold right here. Very cool. A doubt. And now, instead of going through here, we go through there. And I think this is... This is the fire giant level. I don't think I'm mistaken with this. It's, it's definitely fire, right? That much we know, but... I'm just not... 100% sure about the enemy types. Okay, I think he's done. Okay, let's... Yeah. <clears throat> Cyclops. So, <clears throat> really... Do not underestimate Cyclops. These enemies will mess you up. If they crit, they pretty much one-shot anyone. That's why we have pets doing most of the raw AC tanking. And then we have our other tanks, or tanky characters, using arcane magic to help out. Stuff like mirror image goes a long way. Displacement, anything like that. Um... But yeah, we do need to be careful about these. This is like the... I think this is the most dangerous level out of the first four. Because of the Cyclops. So let's spare no expense here in terms of buffs. Because even if we just like... Even if just Valerie, for example, dies. It's still a big... It still hurts us a lot. Because we still don't have a way to resurrect her. Through spells. And Scrolls of Resurrection are very expensive. Okay, so you drink that. And now we're going to try and make sure I'm not forgetting anything here. I want protection from fire and resistance from fire. Okay. Uh, stay with cold. No, no acid, acid, fine. I'm up for an adventure. This is good. We're good. Ah. So I'm going to buff my hammer now. He can take frost, I suppose. Okay, so let's see. We are looking at 20 to 40 damage because it's 3d6 plus 16 plus 1d6 fire with a plus 16 here. Wait, why do I... Give me a second. Oh, okay, right, right, right. I know why, okay. We still don't have an extra attack. Uh, okay, so let's buff this. I'm restless. We are at 17 when we have cold. Okay. <clears throat> You have your armor. Everybody is buffed with protections from fire. Quiet. I'm okay. Let's look at these enemies here. These are fiery creatures. Increased resistance to fire. Deal additional fire damage with their weapons. And can apply fatigued or exhausted conditions on targets of the attacks. Which is awful. They are level 12. They are no joke. They have 30 strength. No joke. They have a lot of hit points, decent AC, uh, their weakest score is Reflex. They have two attacks per round with plus 19 and plus 14. I think this gets increased, if I'm not mistaken, because they also enrage. We're gonna try and bring them down with Force Bombs, because their Reflex is weak. And let's haste up as well. Trying to just make double sure. We're singing, we're charging. If we are able to, you know, charge them properly and... Uh, 
and hit them quickly, they should go down relatively easily. But other enemies in the area will be a little bit harder because we are not charging them. And the most dangerous enemy of these Cyclops are going to be Clerics. Because they buff themselves a lot. And ah, and they cleave as well, which is even more annoying. He's targeting Mr. Doggy. And by the way, what is the AC of my doggy? 43. It's quite nice, actually. Okay. Can they even hit? I want to check if they can hit. Uh, attacks Leopard. Okay, missed because of Blur. Okay, let's see. Okay, he was brought down with the, the Force Bomb, I feel. Yeah, he failed the reflex save. And he went down. Okay, they were able to attack us once. But... Uh, they missed due to blur. So I couldn't even see the roll. Okay, let's keep this going. We have haste. Let's make use of it. This looks very <laughs> empty, doesn't it? Okay. Whoops. I keep pressing escape. To Ooh. Good. And I'm not bothering uh, with buffing here. Because it's going to waste more time out of my hastes. Here we actually pick up, if I am looking at this right, a very, very cool item. Not for anybody in our party currently, I don't believe. Well, maybe. Which is the boogeyman's robe. Robe. It's a cloth. Um, it's just a cloth. It doesn't count as armor, I believe. It gives you zero armor. Um, also doesn't have any penalties. Gives you a plus five to knowledge arcana, which is cool. And this robe grants its wearer a plus two bonus on all concentration checks, a five competence bonus to knowledge, arcane skill checks, and a chance to frighten enemy on a hit with a will save DC of 13. The cool part about this is if you have someone that doesn't necessarily use armor, put this on him, especially if he attacks a lot of times per round, which we're gonna maybe have someone that does that eventually. It has a really cool chance of just frightening enemies and can be a very useful item. The only bad part about frightening is enemies start running around and you have to chase them, which isn't always what you want. In any case, I can give this to my main character, I feel. Yep. And we have 31 AC. <laughs> that is quite nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, right. And the book. The book. The Diary of the Weary Traveler. A well-worn diary with a leather cover. The owner's name is embossed in tarnished silver. Balls S. In youth, our lives are a series of novel impressions. Your first spell, the first kiss, the first taste of victory, the first adventure you set off on without stopping to ask permission, and the first triumphant return. But when you mature and grow accustomed to every feeling, uh, sorry, but then, what was once novel has become mundane and you reach a plateau. It's all rather boring, but at least you can pass through life with confidence. But it won't last long. Your well-trodden path begins to circle and descend. It is the beginning of old age. Another time of new impressions. The first cracking joint, the first pang in your heart, your failing eyes, your thinning hair. Yes, our mortal bodies are traitors all, just waiting to stab us in the back. But what's truly scary are the, others, are the other firsts. The first funeral of someone you cannot lose. The first compromise with one's conscience. The first friend to say, I have no wish to see you again. The first student who abandons you or buries his talent or dies in his prime or turns your lessons to evil ends. The first time you look at your travel bag and desire to throw it in the fire and leap in behind it. I thought the bleaching couldn't touch me. Boredom? In this beautiful world where there's always a place for new adventures, impossible. Or so I believed. But it snuck up upon me from where I least expected. My bleaching began when my soul grew numb from the number of scars it bears. The body could be rejuvenated by magic, 
But where can you hide when you disgust yourself? There's only one thing left uh, to do as the Fae do. Turn your heart into a gemstone, on which the past can never leave a mark. You'll never change and remember nothing, but continue in bliss forever. It must be a wonderful existence, though it may appear monstrous from the outside. But the saddest part is this. Even if one of the eldest would come to me and offer a return to the first world, that I may be careless and free, and were I to agree, then the me I am now, this old vagabond, sick of himself, he would be no more. It would ju be just another death, albeit a pleasant one. I cannot win this game. Even if I somehow slip for Asma's grasp, I will never trick Oblivion. And this, is, and this is as it should be. It means that sooner or later I will escape from the disgusting old man I call myself. Okay, this guy was... Definitely suffering the effects of the bleaching. He was entering a deep state of depression and boredom. This looks like a very big area. Which means trouble, usually. I have 30 seconds of haste. We have a cleric. I'm listening. Don't hesitate. Where to now? Charge the bitch. Okay. There will very obviously be more enemies here, but... Yeah, this guy enlarges himself. I think I might actually use Jubilos to try and trip someone other than the charge target. Let's... Oh, he's actually going for Jubilost. Okay, did he attack? Okay, so attack one of three. He has a plus 29 modifier, which means he can hit me on a roll of 17 if I'm doing the math correctly. Yeah, man, look at this. Base attack bonus 12, string 12, difficulty 4, and other 2. Inspire ferocity. Okay, but if, if we are not charging, if we are not charging, he actually needs to hit a 20. Okay. Uh, Juby, let's try and bring down that guy. Who is he going for? For a Gongar? Mm. And who are you going for? For Valerie? It doesn't make much of a difference, to be honest. Okay. Let's try to dish out some damage here. Let's help Regongar as well with the Sacred Thingy. He actually saved? It looks like he's going down for some reason. Valerie took a hit of 35. 3d6 plus 26. Man, the damage they deal is insane. Yeah, so even though they are kind of unable to hit our uh, pets, they are for sure able to hit Valerie and Rigongar. So, we have to be very careful about this. She has mirror image. I'm actually gonna take it away from here. And Regongard as well. And let the pets tank this. So, Doggy and Leopard. Okay. Where are you going, dude? Sometimes I really hate the pathing in this game. Okay. We're fine now. Go in. Valerie, go over here. Keep tossing bombs over there. Everybody's shooting this guy. Okay, Valerie, move in. Dead. He went down to the bomb. And dead. Okay. We got a ring of luck. Which gives us one luck bonus to saving throws. And it's pretty much is going to stack with basically everything else. Because there's not really a lot of sources of um, luck bonuses. I think I will give this to Valerie to keep her in the front line. Alright. And let's keep on going. 
I assume that was the toughest encounter in the level because it was the, the way down. Maybe I was wrong. Cyclops, Cleric and some more Cyclops. I would like to charge this guy. I don't know if I have line of... Okay, I do have line of sight. How long do I have of haste? Nothing. Okay. okay. I don't think I need to rest before I go to the next level. So I'm not going to use my guarded earth here. I don't think there's a point to it. Let's get some more haste. Sing. And I will just let my pets charge, not Valerie or Rigongar. Or actually, do I even want to charge? Yeah, I do because this guy is, is a caster. This guy isn't, so... You two go in after the Wolfie. There's a bunch of enemies here. But I think I want everybody to focus on the cleric still. Uh, the exception will be my character. Who will try to toss out a stinking cloud. They have a lot of fortitude. I don't expect this to work. But even if just one gets disabled, it's going to be a win. And I think I will want the bombs to go for the biggest cluster of enemies, which should be here. Oh, really? These two failed? They have plus 13. Well, the difficulty class is 21, so if they roll a 7, which I'm guessing happened, roll the 5, Roll the five. Okay. Yeah, so two down is a big win for us. So I'm actually going to start tossing bombs into the one that's not disabled. And this guy... Well, let's hope he doesn't mess us up too much. Dead. Good. And dead. Let's keep this going. I can see Check for traps. Okay. Yep. Is that a cleric? Doesn't seem to be a cleric here. Hey! Careful with your running people. <laughs> Forty-nine seconds is more than enough. Sing. Pets charge. The rest do not charge. I'm listening. Attack! So, any brilliant ideas? We have to be careful about what's coming from over here, though. Focus on the oh, that's bad. Yeah, my leopard's gonna tank that. Time for fun. As well as my wolfie. Phantasmal Killer, which is... <laughs> yeah, so they resisted, which is good, but it could have been awful. Just imagine running through this with your main character in the last Aslanti run and failing the save, and the run is over. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. It is not fun. These are actually a lot of people. I am not liking this. I am not really liking this. I am not. Get over here. Let's go for a... Oh, there is one over there. Damn it. Okay. We're still fine. Ooh. Okay. They are focusing on Mr. Wolfie. I'm actually going to swap my Stinking Cloud over to this area. Not here. This one is under control, basically. Can I just move this? Toss it over here. Ok. 
Okay, save, save, failed. Don't really feel like taking risks, so go again. This guy's done. This guy saved. Let's try and bring this one down. Careful people. Primitives. This guy now has divine power. Which is a big no no for us. Buffery Gongar. Who is he focusing on? Nobody currently. So Valerie stay out of the way. Rigongar stay out of the way. Let's let the pets deal with this. He keeps on saving against the Sinking Cloud. Uh, he has 22 extra forts. Okay, he's never gonna fail it. Do I want to bother with Grease? Yes, I do. I don't want to die to this. So do that. Cordampina. Yeah, you know what? No, I'm not gonna... I don't want to risk this. Guarded Earth. Screw that. If he goes down, I'll cancel it, but... Let's see. Did not go down. Okay, you can now... Go help. And Valerie... Sing. Man, if he swaps to Rigongar and just bursts him down, I'm gonna be sad. Let's use Arcane Accuracy for extra accuracy. Okay, I, I think I don't need it. Okay. Let's cancel Guard Earth. He's taking a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, it got scary there. It got scary. Not gonna lie. It got a little bit scary. What did he pick up? Time Worn Shard of the Goggles of Night from the Tenebrous... De what the... Long name. Time Worn Shard of the Goggles of Night. This item once belonged to a mysterious man, a collector of many artifacts. Okay. Nothing else very special here. We have a buff. And I, I, I think I'll still go to the lower level without buffing. Except maybe for the last fight. Or do I just save this buff and rest, take the buff and then go for the last level? I think that might be better. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna save this buff if I remember it. I usually forget about them. <laughs> but I will try to remember. Don't hesitate. One more fight? Oh, yes, one more fight. Raging Cyclops. I am very afraid of a trap somewhere around here. So I think I'm going to avoid charging in. In terms of HP, we are fine. We still have our protections. Does anyone require my counsel? Just... Uh, wait, sorry. 12 seconds. That's actually enough you. to burst one of these down, I think. But yeah, I don't want to charge. Uh, let's do this, and my Wolfie will occupy this guy. You require my assistance. And we'll see what happens. We'll do it the hard way. Okay, there, there are no clerics that I can see, at least. Okay. Might as well do this. These guys aren't like super buffed like the other one. Ish. Okay, the raging ones are. Not gonna bother with that. Uh, will score is how much? Nine. I can toss out uh, a glitter dust. God damn, this is what I'm talking about. Critical hit, 75 damage on dog, dog died. Okay. <clears throat> Time to adapt. Get some skeleton warriors over there. 
Back up. Nice roll. Everybody back up. Ooh, they're going for Valerie. Okay, well, even if it's a low chance, I'm gonna try and disable the Cyclops at least. And Juby, you need to disable this guy as quickly as possible. What do you want to do? Mm, just shoot. I think that's it. She still has she still has mirror images. Dead. Okay, they are occupied with skeleton uh, fighters. Good. And they are both disabled as well. Let's just damage this one here. Come on, bring him down, Juby. Yes. Good man, good man. Man, force bombs are so cool. Especially if you have force bombs plus thinking cloud, you are targeting fortitude and reflex at the same time. Rest in peace, Mr. Doggy. Don't worry, my friends. When we rest, he's gonna come back. Without a doubt. We got a, a shock javelin. And I'm going to finish up the episode, but before I do that, I'm going to go down one more level. So we can collect all of the loot from this level. Just have a quick look at it, see if we can find some useful items, and then we're gonna end it. Not too bad. I imagine if I was playing uh, without being recording a video, um, I would have done the four levels, but reading stuff and speaking with you guys takes a little bit longer. But in the next one, we'll, we will do it, don't worry. Next episode, we take care of level four. Uh, no special items, it's basically just gold and some... Just gold, stuff to sell. I will try not to forget that I have the buff available on this level. And leave. But yeah, so the, the Cyclops are very dangerous for that particular reason you can be buffed up all with all the AC you want if you get crit especially on unfair which is double damage you just you just die you just die so Rigongar for example 75 damage you would drop anybody else on my party would just drop the only one who wouldn't would be Valerie so yeah very very dangerous we need to be very very careful uh, with that said, my friends, this will be the end of this episode. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some Pathfinder Kingmaker. Um, any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. Many more videos coming soon. It is also a free and easy way to support the channel. I hope to see you all in the next episode, and until then, stay safe, everyone.